Hello, my name is Jonas Dizel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install a Configure Unity 3D. To get started, go to Google, search for Unity Hoop, and then click on Download Unity. Then click on Download Unity Hoop, and then the installation file is being downloaded. Just click once and basically follow the installation wizard. So agree with the terms and conditions. Select where you want to, sto to store the files and folders. I will advise you to leave them to the default location and then click install. I'm not gonna go install it because I already have installed uh, Unity Hub. Right, once you have launched Unity Hub for the first time, it's gonna uh, prompt you to uh, select the license. Now you could actually click on uh, activate new license select personal, select I do not use Unity in a professional uh, capacity, or you can select this option, or you can go on Unity Plus, which basically you will have to pay uh, monthly fees. So if you go to Unity, you will be able to identify how much uh, you will have to pay for the Plus account. However, you will still be able to do everything that you need to do with a free version, uh, and if you basically bypass the threshold of $100,000, then you will have to go on uh, Plus or Pro. So I'm going to select the, I do not use uh, Unity in a professional capacity. I'm just going to click OK, done. And basically it's going to ask you to uh, uh, log on. If you do not have an account with Unity, you, that, now is the time for you to create an account. So as you can see, I have logged on to my account. You must log on in order to activate the license and then click manual, manual activation. You're going to save the license on the local computer. I'm just going to put it on the desktop there. Just create a new folder. Save it there and then click next. Then it's going to ask me to select the file. So you select in the file, you select open and you click confirm. Now it shows you invalid because I already activate my license. So if you show, you see the invalid format here, you can exit this and run Unity Hub again. And if you do not see a uh, license here asking you to put select your license, this means that your Unity is already activated. Once your Unity have, has been activated, if, let me go back, if for some reason you try a number of times to manually activate the license, try to uh, close Unity Hub and reopen Unity Hub and go through the process again a number of times. Maybe you have no internet connection or maybe your antivirus is blocking the connection. So you keep attempting the process of activating the license and then there will be a little pop up here on the bottom left corner to say your license has been activated. OK, so if we go back now, you can click on the installs. As you can see, I've got a number of installs here. Uh, in your case, if you install in, uh, if you just install Unity Hub, you're probably going to have nothing here. So in this case, you click add. And then you select, I'll, I'll, I will advise you to select the latest version. Now the LTS is stands for long term support. So my advice to you is stay away from uh, not LTS versions. So the LTS version has long term support. So this means that once you complete your project, your project will be supported uh, for a long time. Now, once you have selected uh, this option, do I have the latest version? Let me see is 11F. Yep, I don't have the latest version, so I'm just going to install the latest version. So I'm going to select 11F, yes. Uh, I'm going to select Android, uh, iOS, Mac build, Universal Windows, WebGL. Now, if you're machines, you will need this WebGL to export the project for the World Gamer X. Windows build support uh, and then OS Magic Leap. This is the leap motion, uh, which basically you controlling objects without touching uh, the mouse or the keyboard. So it's uh, wirelessly. And I'm going to leave the documentation as well. Click next 
and I will agree with the terms and conditions and then click next check and click done and basically the process of uh, installing the new unity version is already started so once this loading bar reaches to this I will be able to actually start using this latest version of unity as you can see you can add multiple versions of unity if there's a particular version of unity that you need to use uh, and it's not here what you need to do is go to the download archive and then you can select which unity version you want to use so in this case I will select 2017 uh, and I will select any of these options whatever unity version you would like to install and then you basically click on unity hub and then you check this box and say open and then you go through the same process which versions you want to uh, install and then you click install and then this new unity version 2017 version 4.30 uh, will start to install okay once you are uh, happy with the installations that you have and you want to start a new project you go to projects and then you select new now if you select new by default it's going to pick up the latest version that you have okay so if you want to use a particular different version so you drop down the list as you can see here you drop down the list and then here it's going to show you all the uh, versions that you have installed in your lo local machine uh, and as a result you pick up the version that you're happy with and then you go through the process of creating the project uh, for more video, video tutorials on how to create set up your, your first project on unity go to youtube let's exit this you go to youtube and you type a web design you click on my logo here you click on playlists you click on unit 3 3d and then you will be able to actually see all the video tutorials i have created i have created with it throughout my video tutorials i'm showing you how to create the terrain how to add uh, coins sounds uh, 3d characters how to generate your own sounds and how to actually use other software applications like uh, dust 3d and how to basically bring the Dust 3D project into your Unity project. Okay, so as you can see, I've got quite a few video tutorials there, which will guide you through on how to get started and how to basically uh, create your own 3D game. Hope you've learned something new today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.